Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, this reading has been quite the uh, reading here, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I'm on take three. So um, with no further ado, I am going to start shuffling. I have the mystical moments here. It is an 18 and up reading because I do have the sexual magic tarot here with me as well. And I'm going to wrap up a reading with an Oracle of the Unicorn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. If you want more information here, Capricorn, go ahead and pop down in the description box. There's a Molly McCord Leo full moon video down there that you can get more information about that video. <clears throat> Capricorn, you have a lot of uh, attention coming your way. Okay. And I say that because it literally took three tries to get this to go. Like, I got interrupted and then I didn't have the right headset like you there's like I feel like that is a metaphor for your sort of what's going on um there's this start and stop that is coming to a close where this next four to five weeks is going to be incredibly different for you Capricorn you're going to feel some type of way and please keep in mind Capricorn that I am not a licensed physician so if you're not feeling well seek out a doctor justice in the 11th place of the major arcana in this deck <coughs> um Oh, wow. Gold. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so I feel like the start and stop situation is because at the end, when you finally, like, like when you finally receive something on the next four to five weeks, it's going to feel like gold. It's going to be feel like, like somebody just handed you a gold bar and you're like, what am I going to do with this? Um... You're going to know exactly what to do with it. It's time for you to receive some damn justice, Cappies. Okay? And, <laughs> um, wow. All right. Ten of Cups. I'm glad this card came back out in the same position uh, here. <clears throat> the freshness that you're going to start to feel over the next four to five weeks is just going to be pure and out bliss. It's like unexpected rainbows, you know? It doesn't matter how many, how old you are, or how many times you see rainbows. That shit is always going to make you go, wow. You know, like you're always going to be in awe of that. And I feel like your life is about to be a never ending rainbow. And like, it's just expected and unexpected rainbows that just happen after happen, after happen, after happen. And that's not even a sentence. So it's like, people are going to be like, like other, like you are going to be in the state even where you're just going to be like, how's this happening? You manifested it. The devil. This is instant gratification. I was like, couldn't that be ego? Not with justice, baby. No. You worked really hard for this next four to five weeks, actually. And it's going to feel super easy. Um, super pleasurable. Just exactly right where you're meant to be all the time. Next four to five weeks. You could meet a Capricorn. Another Capricorn, you know. Maybe a Libra. Um... The Ten of Pentacles is on the Sexual Magic Tarot. Yours is the first reading I've done where I let the cards be upside down. Um, so there's definitely an, a, an ending of some sort of investment or way of doing life like that wasn't really tied to your legacy, but it brought you to where you're at. The Knight of Swords. I'm really glad that this card came back out. Um, so, you know, there's definitely, you're soaring just above the clouds. You're, you're getting accomplishments, people, places, things, right, the right partnerships, new friendships, new soul tribe are all coming in. Whoa. Oh God, I don't even want that card, I suppose, but we'll get it. Two of Pentacles. All right. So that card came out again and I shuffled pretty well before I popped on here, uh, with this deck. So I do see you no longer waiting um you're no longer like sitting around waiting on things to happen you're being a part of the solution or you may be presenting the ideas of the solution you have this ability to like create in some way shape or form that other people don't have and i it's something that you were actually taught at one point in time either by a paternal figure or as a child when you were really young when marriage seemed a really far way away type of age. And some of you tap dabbled in this energy like two years ago. And um, it, yeah, two of swords came out right as I was saying that. You don't see this coming, but there's a death of sorts coming in your life. You're going to reject somebody here soon. Um, Capricorn, you're going to reject some type of energy. A crow might call or a raven might land. There's something along those lines. You, you're going to see... 
like a flower that's disguised to look like another flower. That's such a strange thing to say, but there's a flower that's going to be disguised to look like a, a species of flowers that it isn't. And that's a sign, but I do see here where there's a death of sorts. You're going to make a decision to reject someone or something, some sort of idea, an investment. And when you do that, it's divine justice. This, this is your moment to reject something that you have been rejected by time and time again. Is this somebody from your past? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think it is. But <clears throat> um, I do feel here, Capricorn, that when you do that, not only are you receiving justice, but it's, it's like instantaneously, somebody's going to come into your life unexpectedly that's a big old yes for you. And you're not going to worry about what anyone or anything has to say or believe or have an opinion about when it comes to that. Okay. This is a lot of energy. Temperance here and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Nine of Pentacles with the Devil. Wow. Capricorn, I don't know really your situation because, you know, everybody's is different, but um, the angels are about to present you with some sort of very celebratory experience that not only have you been calling in, but the, the other people, it could be a person, one person, but anybody involved over the next four to five weeks of your life, you should just call that your soul tribe. Let that crap go down. I do feel like you're going to reject somebody though soon. And that rejection is what sort of allows you to move in the direction um, that you're aiming. Yeah, Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're just moving in some sort of direction that you've never gone in. And you're also moving to a place that in some capacity that is much calmer and easier. And it actually already has a bunch of resources. <clears throat> that you already have where you're at and that's why you're going to reject where you're at is that you fought really hard for those resources that you have where you're at right now as you're watching this and at the end of this five weeks wherever you're going with this knight of swords and the six of swords um it already has everything that you need and desire like just period like you could just show up like empty-handed and you'd always be provided for yeah, trust your intuition here over the next four to five weeks because, yeah, the two of pentacles and the two of wands. Two of swords, so two, two, two for my cappies. A bunch of partnerships, new friendships, new new love, new uh, new platonic friends, you know, new romantic friends, new, a lot of new going on for you. The nine of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Uh, I, I, you know... <clears throat> I also kind of pick up on this vibe, Capricorn, that um, the energy that you reject here, you might actually reject two energies. And by the third energy is when it's a yes. Some of you are going to reject a couple things. Um, I do see you sitting down with somebody at some point in time here, Capricorn, over the next four to five weeks that's of the opposite gender of you. Or like if you're non-binary, they identify. Or if you identify, they might be non-binary even. And figuring out whether or not this is something that needs to move forward with you and this person. And I feel like it's a mutual separation. This devil and this nine of pentacles suggests that at the end of this five weeks, you're going to have some level of independence that currently, as you're watching this, you don't have Capricorn. Um, for many of you, that involves pentacles, like a job or promotion, some sort of additional financial resource. <clears throat> Um, many of you could even, if you already have, like your finances are in good check, that's not a worry. You're going to have an additional source of income coming in. Somebody overstepped your boundaries recently here, Capricorn. <clears throat> and um, that was a slow moving change for you. I feel like that is why you are doing this rejection. There's definitely some justice here coming in for you. And it's very healing. It's feeling like a rainbow at the end of some sort of pot of gold type of vibe. Um, a few of you might win a little bit of money if you get a lottery ticket, but it's like, um, something that was hidden below the surface is really become, becoming in the forefront of your life. 
Um, I, I really want to tell you that I feel like you're going through some sort of transformation in the sense of how you communicate, how you think, how you work, how you act. Um, you are holding yourself to a different standard that is providing a lot of justice to anybody in your life. And it's very healing. You're very balanced. You're very structured. You're in a state of being able to attract things in your life that ordinarily would be difficult. But you may be speaking these things into existence. And <clears throat> this devil to me in this nine of pentacles, you have had some sort of conditioning or mindset for a very long time that has kept you in a state of... Um, darkness really like your shadow self let me shut this window and um i feel like telling you here capricorn you're gonna silence any energy in your life that feels I'm trying to find the word. I, you know, the, there could be um, some ties and connections in your life that you're having a hard time deciding whether they're going forward with you. And I feel like there are t people, there are relationships, there are even investments that you have right now as we speak here, Capricorn, that in your head, you're like, I don't think that's going to go forward with me. And intuitively, you already know these things, but you're allowing other people to heal some sort of situation and transmute their own life in ways that have nothing to do with you just by being yourself. I think your 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 style of communication is opening people's eyes and it's creating some sort of death around you. I don't think this is actual physical death because we don't have the death card out here. This is like fear of using an education or wisdom or your experience in some capacity in this present life that in all reality your knowledge and wisdom of this you've just been sitting at the wrong tables you've been showing up to the wrong meetings you've been surrounding yourself with the wrong people you've been literally sitting in a courtroom like let's say you're you're a lawyer but if you go and you live in the United States and you speak English and you're like you know, 97 percentile lawyer, you, you win that many cases, but you go to France and you don't speak French. How are you going to do your job there? That's just sitting in a room full of people with wisdom and, and education and understanding that you can't do anything with unless you go get higher education, unless you invest and put yourself in, or you could just go somewhere else that has, speaks English and that will take your law degree there. And it's something like that, where you are putting yourself in some sort of new situation where you're no longer in France speaking English amongst a bunch of French people. You are speaking English amongst other people who speak English, and, and it's easy and it's flowing. Now, that's a very shallow and superficial way of describing things, but we all have language barriers that we face every day of our lives. So it's a very easy um, metaphor to give to you because you could apply that to anything. Um, I recently watched a video, uh, a movie where, um, a guy was just dating the wrong, the wrong people. He was dating who his parents thought he should be dating versus who he was attracted to. And when he finally started to date the people he was attracted to, he fell in love with the first one he, he you know, he dated because his soul was just like, I'm going to try this. And, and the, the woman was in the same vibration and in being open, you're being open to allowing yourself to embrace some sort of capacity, some sort of. Um, commitment, but it does come after you reject one or two people, one or two situations. This could be in career, this could be in relationships. I'm not sure, entirely sure of your story here, Capricorn. This the cards came out really quickly, um, and I do feel like I want more cards for your reading, but I've held back on that because I I feel like you need to understand, Capricorn, that this next four to five weeks for you is about holding back, um, allowing other people to communicate, not filling the void not feeling like just because it's silent you got to talk some of you need to learn to just be amongst other people and um that is the justice that you'll be receiving 
I, I do see you in, um, if you live in the city, you could be moving to the country. If you live in the country, you could be moving to the city. Some of you, it's like you're moving somewhere that has some sort of skyline or spectacular view, like a sunset over the ocean every night of your life. Like there's something here about a different view for you. You're going to be having a different view in four to five weeks than the one that you currently have out your windows. Like there's a, a big shift in your surroundings, physicality, um, where you live, where you spend your money, how you receive money, how you give money, the things that you do. Um, you do have like probably three new, new friends coming in here, new relationships, new situations. <clears throat> Capricorn, I do also kind of vibe that you could have somebody come into your life that has a fire placement um, you were divinely orchestrated to have this person come into your life. I also want to tell you that the rejection that you give may be a fire sign. Um, you know, do you. Don't be afraid of that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this reading is just very much like... It's, a, you know, no is a complete sentence, Capricorn, but so is yes. And what are you saying yes to and what are you saying no to? And are they in alignment with who you are as a person? And if the answer is no, your discernment will create justice. Your ability to know when to wield your words, when to speak your truth and share some sort of gift with the world is up to you and only you. And so, you know, um, allow this energy to open itself up to you by just being. You don't need to always be doing. There's some sort of energy here where this devil is actually a spider sitting on um, a mushroom. And instead of two humans being tied to that devil, she's weaved her web so that her food can get trapped in it and she has to do little work. But those webs were just her natural creative talents. She didn't have to work. She just had to enjoy something to make it happen. There's something that you're going to be enjoying here in the next four to five weeks that is weaving a web in your life, multiple webs, that's attracting that which is going to give you nourishment and I feel like telling you congratulations, okay? All right, let's go ahead and close out this reading with an Oracle of the Unicorn Capricorn. So thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel, and commenting. If you're not already subscribed, hit that bell down below. All right, dance. Allow your body or move your body to music, dance with the rhythm of life, and manifest your dreams through dance. Yeah, I do. I said that at one point in this reading, I believe. I, I feel like you're manifesting something in your life that you've never really had in this life, maybe in many lives. And um, put on more music. Let, you know, if you're like in a car with somebody and they ask you to like pick a station, like literally pick the last person that you heard on your own thumbs up radio station when you're, you were by yourself. Just don't even hesitate on that, you know? Um, and, and if somebody, you're at the wheel and, or, you know, you're amongst company and you, you don't want to pick music, like ask somebody else to pick the music. They are going to um, pick things that you need to hear and you want to hear, and they're going to be a part of your new genre of listening. I do feel like <clears throat> you need to pay attention to lyrics more, Capricorn, and pay attention to the words in music because those are impacting you in some capacity. Um, there are some words and lyrics in songs that you've outgrown, you've that they're outdated for you. It's time to find new songs to replace those. It's not that you can't listen to them anymore but on our thumbs up station we tend to listen to some the same songs over and over and over again um and it you know our mind can outgrow the lyrics um even if we're only listening to it subconsciously and um i do feel like it's just time for you to 
step into a phase of understanding that there is a rhythm in your life that you're working with and it is the very thing that's going to carry you on to the next chapter because you're ready for it and this leo full moon is really bringing that in for you so i'm going to wrap it up there capricorn i hope that this helped thank you so much for tuning in liking sharing and subscribing and as always um thank you just for being here i think you're in a state that it's um it's time for you, Capricorn, to enjoy something that you have greatly desired for quite some time. And I feel like it's going to be a lot more than you ever anticipated receiving. So check out all of your big four, get a total picture, and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a member.